the emerging Obama strategy. In the wake of worsening scandals and growing investigations, you can see the president's survival plan in what happened over the weekend. Welcome to Liberty News TV. I'm Norval Rose. Two words we feel pretty much sum up Barack Obama's strategy for moving forward. Two words, deny and decry. In discussing what's under Obama's deny banner, we adapt from Star Trek. As his propagandists boldly go where no one has gone before, deep into the darkness of utter distortion, fueled not by anti-matter, but by anti-reality. Okay, deny is exactly what senior White House advisor Dan Pfeiffer did as he flew at warp speed across the Sunday TV talk show circuit. With a straight face and defiant body language, Pfeiffer basically denied anything illegal about the IRS targeting of conservative groups as he denied anything inappropriate about the president's handling of the Benghazi debacle. Deny and deny some more. Irrelevant was Pfeiffer's favorite term on the IRS mess. The law is, well, irrelevant. There's no indication anyone did anything illegal, said Pfeiffer. And on Benghazi, where the president was on the night of the attack, what he did, with whom he spoke, all of that is irrelevant. What difference does it make? In fact, the White House flak confidently contended that the GOP owes Susan Rice an apology because she didn't fib over and over again when she blamed the Benghazi attack on that YouTube video. No, no, no. She's been vindicated by a few highly redacted emails. Rice's misleading words were, you know, irrelevant. From deny to decry, the Obama strategy took further shape this weekend with the president's commencement address at historically black Morehouse College in Atlanta. Now, while many point out the president's very personal message that young black men should take pride and have purpose in their lives is a good one, there is another angle here for analysis. The president in his speech made much of race, his race, the race of those he feels driven to help, the race of minorities still oppressed in this unjust country. So the president decries racial prejudice and racial injustice and by inference sets himself up as a black man, his words, as a black man, still confronting the strong headwinds of racism in America. Decry his opponents as somehow racially insensitive or racially motivated. By inference, decry those who would oppose his programs and policies. Deny and decry. And you can bet as the scandals deepen, the investigations broaden, and the charges worsen, you can bet that deny and decry will play a big part in the Obama survival strategy. The president and his supporters can only hope that it will change the current trajectory of the Obama administration. That's Liberty News TV for today. I'm Norval Rose. Thanks so much for joining us, and we do look forward to seeing you right here next time.